Flaherty. Drives past Jamison. Flaherty, the basket, scooping it home underneath the defense. What a take by Caitlin Flaherty again. Flaherty, three seconds left. Two seconds. Flaherty straight on three to beat the horn is good. Caitlin Flaherty with a buzzer beating straight on triple. For me, confidence is the biggest thing, and I get my con confidence through working out. So right now, every day after practice, I'm in the gym for at least an hour, an hour and a half every single day. I know I have to get my shots up because I know I'm taking a high volume of shots in practice or in games. So I know if I shoot them, I'll be confident. How long have you been that way? How long have you done that? So, I've been that way since I've started playing basketball. Like my father always said, you're not going to be the fastest. You're definitely not going to be the biggest, most athletic. And I think that with anything in life, you have to put extra work in. If you want to, if you can be mediocre, and I don't want to be mediocre at anything I do. Well, I have this picture of me. Obviously, I don't remember it, but I was probably like one. And there's me holding a basketball, and it's probably half the size of my body. So I think I was basically born into basketball, but I can say that I first played in an actual game when I was in kindergarten because my parents like snuck me in to like a first grade league and no one knew that I was really in kindergarten. So I think that's my first competitive game. So a lot of those leagues, who decides who wins is basically the one kid who's strong enough to get the ball up to the hoop. Was that you early on? Oh yeah, I remember there's pictures of me too, like shooting from the foul line, which I think was considered like the three point line at the time. And like me, like my legs like flinging out, like just like trying to like push the ball and I would make them too. So that was like the big thing. Like someone could actually make like a shot from like the foul line. When did you kind of fall in love with basketball? Is it a gradual thing or has it just been such a part of your life for so long that it's a part of who you are? Um, I, I think it's such a part of my life just because it's like basically all I know but there was a point when I really fell in love with it when I see where it could take me and I saw all the opportunities that it could um, bring and I think it's just at that point I knew that that's just what I wanted to do. I love the game and if it could impact me in such a positive way that I, I would definitely follow through with it and I think when you realize something can bring you more th things into your life that wouldn't be possible without it, that's when you really fall in love with something. Words ahead to Flaherty. Watch out here. What's Caitlin going to do? Hesitation. Drive left into Bauman. High off the glass and good. Talk about your your first three years here, coming to Michigan and being able to uh, to play and be such a big part of things right away. My first three, three years here have been great. Um, a lot of learning and I think a lot of memories. You know, I think the biggest thing that I've learned at college was that everything's not perfect and there's going to be a lot of um, hard days, but there's also going to be a lot of good days. And on the court, I think it's the same for off the court, whether it's school or personal issues, um, anything like that. But I've had so much fun. I think we've done great as a team for the past three years. I've grown so much as a player. I've learned so much from my coaches and my teammates who are older than me, along with the ones that are in my class. And now I've learned from the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors. Has it on the block end, defended by DeBoer. Screen there from Thome. Flaherty turns it on, drives, and scores with the right hand. Growing up, my dad always have told me just to look at other people. They might not be as good as you, they might be better than you, but you can always learn something from someone. And here I take it just in the same sense. I look at the freshmen and sometimes I try to incorporate their moves into my game. I look at Jill and I try to match her energy and um, how great she is on defense or how even some of her post moves to the basket. I think once I get in there, you can learn how to do those things. So just certain different things, different intangibles that are not in my game yet that I learn from everybody else. And I think I can say that Every single person that's been here before me and after me, I've learned something from. Screen from Dunstan. Flaherty with 12 seconds. The triple from the right wing is good! Caitlin Flaherty has tied the game on another 24-3. How important was the run through the WNIT to you and the, the entire team in the program last year? Yeah, um, I think the WNIT, our run, was it's unmatched. It's something that we've never done before and I think it's great that we'll hang the first banner and it's something that I'll always be a part of um, history and I think that's a big deal and leading into this season you know I think it motivates us. It shows us that we can play with a variety of teams outside of our conference playing teams from the, such as like the ACC conference who are kind of different opponents than we face in the Big Ten but also just remembering how it felt not to make the NCAA tournament and I think that's something we've talked about a lot this year that you can't go into any game and overlook any team because those losses matter at the end of the year and um, just trying to get big wins against ranked opponents and I think that matters too and our preseason is pretty tough this year so I think we'll have good opportunities to do that.
how much would that mean to you to break that and you know how, how much time do you spend kind of uh, thinking about that? Um, I really only think about it when people mention it to me and it's been mentioned a lot lately so it's on my mind um, and I know that's something that I'll accomplish just because of my coaches and my teammates. Um, like I said my coaches have believed in me since I've gotten here um, even when I'm having bad games they still let me um, feel myself into the game and keep shooting and my teammates instill so much confidence in me. I'm, I could be thinking I'm having the worst game and they'll be like, you're okay, keep shooting. And I think that's something that every great player needs. They need people behind them. And I think I've been fortunate enough to have that here and I think that contributes to a lot of my success. But I mean, looking back at it, the past three years, it is crazy how much I've accomplished. And I think it attests to my hard work, which, which I really pride myself in. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I just want to win this year. and. I think that'll just be another great accomplishment to add to this season. She's such a visual part of the history. She's around, they bring her back in for events, she's on the wall over there. Is it kind of cool to, to share that moment and be associated with her and, and all that she's done, not just while she was here, but everything she's done since? Yeah, I mean, it's very interesting to see how involved she is still and just to be able to see kind of like who is just as good as you and you know who has made a name for themselves and is in the record books and I think it's interesting to speak with her and just to talk about how the game has changed and how different it is now um, and just how different the competition is and kind of just what she's learned playing and I think it's just like I said it's really interesting and it's kind of like an inspiration to me just to be able to be up there with someone like that.